What is up guys and welcome to Southwest Angling. Today's episode is going to be a bit different, you know, lately in the past, you know, all New Mexico, all Texas, but today we are going to go on a little trip to a third state to cover our Southwest channel. And right now we are packing up and rearing to go, so let's just show you what I am packing. Let's see here. All right, you know, a bunch of rods, uh, fly gear, bags of a bunch of clothes. Anyways, guys, as you can probably tell from what I'm planning to name this video, we are going to Colorado and to a pond in Fort Collins, specifically the KOA pond. And why this pond is so special is because it is the very first pond I that got me into bass fishing. It's the first place I caught a bass on a lure ever, and it's what it sort of hooked me on the whole thing. Uh, here is a picture of my first lure bass. I was much fatter then <laughs> and with much longer hair, but anyways. We we're rearing to go. Uh, I haven't been back since then, so it should be pretty fun. There's a bunch of ponds in the area, so either way, it should be awesome. But yeah, let's uh, let's saddle up and head on out there. Well guys, after a good like seven hour drive, we have made it to the KOA. Um, looks really darn nice. I think I actually have the same camp spot I had like all those years ago. So that is pretty interesting. Uh, I was in that car for a good seven hours and uh, really have to use the bathroom. So that's where I'm going now. But uh, overall looks like a really nice place. Um, a large group of neighbors just followed us in behind, so that might be annoying in the middle of the night, but we'll see. They could be cool. Um, I looked at the lake a little, and I already saw some fish, so that should be awesome. And yeah, I'm going to go to the bathroom and see what happens next. I don't know if you can see, but there are literally bass all around here. Giant bluegill. This looks like one heck of a pond. All right guys, so as tempting as that pond is, there are literally bass everywhere. Gonna go ahead and eat some sushi. You know, those fish got me in a real fish mood. So we're gonna go ahead and eat that, check out some sushi, head back and finally go fishing here. It looks great, cannot wait. Alright guys, so we've returned from sushi, real good, uh, lots of college people there, but um, now it is time to finally go fishing. This pond looks so good, so many fish already around the shore. And to start off, we're going to use Old Faithful Bait Caster, and the lure of choice is going to be the lure that I caught fish here on last time, like three years ago. Um, you know, just for some nostalgia's, nostalgia's sake, and that is the Daiwa Classic DC Shad, my favorite crankbait. Um, last time I was using a gold colored one, but this is the shad color and I'm pretty sure it should do pretty darn well. 
So anyways, let's start casting and see if we can get one. All right, guys, very first cast. Let's see how it goes. You know what, guys? Maybe patterns from four years ago aren't the way to go here. Uh, I think I'm going to switch to a jerk bait just because I can let it sit in front of their faces some more. So we're going to try that, and if not, probably some jigs. So let's switch on to the jerk bait and see if that makes a difference. I have never caught a fish on a jerk bait, so if I can do that right now, that'd be real cool. All right, let's see what happens. Having a good feel about it. Ooh, got one, got one on that first cast with the jerk bait. Ooh, wow, he has a bunch of his friends looking at him. All right, let's see. He's barely hooked. That was a real small bite. And got him. Woo! First bass of the trip, and my first bass ever on a jerk bait. Ooh, he's still real feisty. All right, guys, my first ever bass on a jerk bait. Not a big one, but still a, a bass on a jerk bait. I mean, in New Mexico, it's sort of hard, but I finally have done it. It was a real small bite. Finally got the hooks out. Uh, might as well weigh the guy, you know? Can keep an overall weight for the trip, I guess. All right, the scale zeroed out. Um, he's, he's not gonna be much, maybe like 0.50 or something. 0 0.80 right there not a bad way to start off the trip my first cast with the jerk bait and there we go that is awesome I'm gonna stick with that jerk bait for a while and see what more damage we can do awesome all right let's get on back out there by the way this is the jerk bait I caught it on I think it's a four inch KVD in the sexy shad that is what did it let's see that was sort of bad oh well that's a bird's nest Anyways, the retrieve I was doing, just, you know, like that, just just straight jerking it, you know, just not much to it. And then that was on a pause that he hit. I could see it close to shore, it wasn't that far. So, um, yeah, that's what's been working on it. Ooh, I see some swimming towards it, so that's a good sign. Oh, got one. Another one. Oh, this one's tiny. What the heck, dude? The other one looks like he wants to eat it. There we are, back to back casts with the jerk bait. Didn't really need the net, but oh wow, he is messy. He's splashing all over the place. All right, second cast. That was officially the worst hook I've ever had to take out. It went both of them like through his tongue out the gill. But uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna weigh this guy. He's small anyway. We'll just weigh the ones over like 12 inches. And because he is in a critical state of health, we're gonna get him back and get back out there. All right, now let's see what happens with cast number three on the jerk bait. We're not gonna cast too far out there because so far all the bites have been pretty close to shore. But that has been crazy. So far, nothing big, nothing over a pound. But I'm, I'm hoping. I know there's some toads in here. This is a catch and release only lake, so it's definitely got some potential for really big fish. You can see the bait there. Moving nice and slow. But maybe we can get the big one. All right now, just some bluegill are following it. Oh, there's the big guy. Ooh, he's looking at it, looking at it. I think he wants it. Come on, just get it, get it, get it. This guy is over a pound for sure. Oh, come on. It's always the ones you can see that are the hardest to catch. My gosh, well, there goes our streak of a fish every cast on the jerk bait. It's two casts of fame, but now I think we gotta switch up. Um, I'm gonna try one more power fishing bait. I'm not sure what it'll be yet. Uh, possibly a topwater LC. And then after that, we're gonna switch on over to some finesse. But hey, first impressions of this lake, I am really quite digging it. All right, guys, now I almost feel bad for the fish. We just cracked open a new chatterbait micro. No chance at all. I think this will be the perfect bait to slay them with. And if not, you know what? Some weirds about this lake, but look at that. That'll catch him. All right, let's just quickly look at this action. Oh my gosh, it's done. They stand no chance, that's too good. All right, first cast, uh, sort of off. Let's see, oh wow, that would've been off. There we go. Ooh, I can already feel it vibrating. 
it's done for. All right, so they're looking at it when it's on the bottom. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna switch to a jig. I mean, I had so much confidence in it, but a few swiped at it, but I think the jig will definitely pull through. Let's see. Okay, we've got the old Bitsy King and Rodent. They do not stand a chance now. All right, just wait for this first cast. Not gonna pitch it far, because I see some right there. All we gotta do is just tempt them. I see some crawfish casings. Oh, oh, already. Oh, I just missed one. Ooh, they're going for it though, they want it. Oh, oh, I just missed the big one. Oh, come on. Ooh, they're digging it, they're digging it. Okay, okay. Three bites, like, consecutively. They stand no freaking chance. I just gotta let it sit longer. All right, oh, already got one. There we go. Ooh, this one's nicer. Oh, it popped off, are you freaking serious? Okay, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. They want this so bad. All right, we know that they are in to crawfish. That is the dealio, all right? Oh, are you serious? Okay, we're gonna switch it. No need to toy with them anymore. We are gonna get them. All right, so this jig in particular has done really well for me back at home in the ditches. So I'm having faith that it will finally strike. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know if it's just the hooks on that last one or what, but geez. That was not working out. Got him! Oh, the big one, finally. The one that was right by shore. Oh, I've been looking at him for so long. Okay. Oh, please. Oh, please. Come on, let's let the GoPro see him. Okay. I think this one's over a pound. He's been just chilling here the entire time. Just taunting me. All right. Ooh, yeah, he, he's pretty good. Don't throw it. Oh, finally, finally in the net. Look at this guy. Oh, he just spat out my trailer, but nice. This one's definitely over a pound. Guaranteed. Oh, ho, 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 look at that one. Woo, that is a nice one. And on that jig. All right, guys, I don't know for certain, but I'm thinking it's the biggest one of the year. Maybe, actually, no. I don't know, maybe, we're gonna weigh them. But that is a nice Colorado bass. On that jig, I saw him hit right in front of my eyes. That is a really nice fish. Let's see how much she weighs. Ooh, dang. All right, let's just see here. Make sure it's on. There we are, I'm, I'm guessing around a pound for sure. If that last one was 88, then this one's for sure. Ooh. 1.13, that makes a pound, ladies and gentlemen. That's sort of my goal for every trip, to catch a fish at least over a pound, but I'm hoping we can break two this one. But that is a nice bass, look at her. Awesome, let's get her back and hopefully get some more of that jig. Awesome. All right, that last fish through my very last rodent. Um, now I have to use the knockoff brand ones. But uh, it should be good. There's a bunch of huge bluegill in here too, so I might actually switch to a fly rod and see if... Oh, I just missed him. And see if I can get those, because that'd be real fun. Oh, they're looking at it. Looking at it some more. Mm, dang it. I keep missing them. Bump the plastic a little. Maybe it's the rip-off rodent, you know? Who, who knows? Who freaking knows? All right, well, you know, I've given the bass a fair try. I think they're still pretty active, but all these bluegill are really tempting me. So I'm going to gear up with a fly rod and hopefully catch some of these gills. They look huge, guys, and it should be really fun. All right, guys, I turned the GoPro off just because I was just messing around, and I put on the duck, and two feet from shore, something blew up on it. I mean, I am astounded, like the freaking duck. Like if I catch one on this duck, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. But yeah, there's a blow up right next to me. Like if I catch one on the duck, I swear, best day of my life, no lie. I really hope this happens. Top hook cover on the duck was still on. If I had taken that off, I might've caught that fish on the very, on my first cast ever with the duck. Ah, you know, things happen for a reason, I guess. I mean, that sucks, but you know what? 
I got a bite on the duck. That is still amazing. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to go and say that that seven hour drive was well worth it. I mean, um, it was a long journey, but we got, I mean, my first ever bass on a jerk bait ever. I mean, two of them and back to back casts, my first and second cast. We got a, you know, one over a pound, which is always a good goal, and which I think is still crazy, multiple blow ups on the Savage Gear duck. I mean, it was dark, it couldn't capture anything. But in the morning, I'm having a real good feeling we can um, hopefully get some more bites on that and other things. So I'm going to be here tomorrow all day long, so that should be a nice, healthy, long episode. Uh, we're going to be covering everything. Hopefully, it should be a lot of fish. So be sure to look out for that. That should be coming out real shortly after this one. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you in the morning, and we'll talk to you later. Toodles.